Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode, A Ladder to Heaven. Let's do this. Okay, I haven't seen Lolly's Candy well, Factory before. There, kids. Welcome to Lolly's Candy Shop. We're the kids whose names you called on your commercial last night. We're here to do the shopping spree. Oh, that's great. You bet your fat clown ass it is. Okay, well, I'll just need your ticket stub. Uh-oh. Ticket stub? You know, when you entered the contest, you got the other half of this ticket. Oh, shit, who has the ticket stub? It was such a long time ago. We, we don't really need the ticket stub, do we? Don't need the ticket stub? Are you high? How else do I know you're the winners? <laughs> no ticket stub, no candy shopping spree. If you find it, you can come back, but you only have one week to claim the prize. That's called a ticking clock. Works great in the movies. Just close the door on him, too. God damn it! We've got to find that ticket. Which one of us took it? It was so long ago, I, I can't remember. And we've got to focus. We've got to focus and remember. All right, there you go. Hold on to that ticket stub. You'll need it to claim your prize. Shine and he up told for the five-minute shopping spree. You hold on to this, Carmen. I might lose it. No, I'll lose it for sure. You keep track of it, Cal. Okay. No, I, I don't want that much responsibility. Here, you hold on to it, Kenny. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes? Where's Kenny? Uh, boys, Kenny died last December. Don't you remember? He just stopped breathing, and, and it was over. But we know he's dead. Yeah. We mean, where is his body? His body? But why? Because he has a goddamn ticket for the... Uh, look, we just really miss our friend, and, uh, and and we need to see his remains for closure. Yeah, closure. But the stuck is closer. Here he is, boys, our dear little Kenny. You turned him into a teapot? No, that's an urn, boys. Kenny's inside it. <laughs> Th thanks for coming by, boys. It, it, it means a lot to us. <laughs> oh, now, honey. <laughs> But, it, oh, but if it's ashes, it would have burned the ticket, too. Did you get it? Hold on, I'm checking for robot guards. There's not going to be any robot guards. Tar, just get Kenny. <laughs> Is he in there? I can't see. <laughs> what the hell is this? Chocolate milk know. mix? I knew Kenny couldn't fit in that teapot. It was a trick. Oh, God damn it, this is really good chocolate milk mix. Why would they play such a cruel joke on us? <laughs> because they're poor, Kyle. Poor people don't have anything better to do than piss other people off. Don't you watch Springer? You're dumb, bitch. Jerry, 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 Jerry. You were supposed to be my no friend. No wonder. We just have to face it. We're not going to get Kenny back, and we're not going to have our shopping spree. It's over. God damn it. There has to be a way. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, not bad. I don't think that chocolate milk mix agreed with my stomach. <laughs> Carmen drank Kenny's remains and now Kenny's soul is trapped in Carmen's body. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Carmen, come on! What, what? Jesus, you butthose, it's six in the morning. Kyle figured out a way to get our winning ticket stub back from Kenny. How? A ladder to heaven. We build it, climb up, and get our winning ticket back from that <laughs> asshole Kenny. Really? That's the plan? Hey, if you boys are building a clubhouse, you should start with the floor. We're not building a clubhouse, we're building a ladder to heaven. Because we want to see Kenny again. Oh, that's so sweet. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Kyle, I think you've bothered the Martians enough. No, it's all right, Sheila. The boys were just building a ladder to heaven to see their old friend Kenny. A ladder to... Oh, oh gosh. Oh, that's so touching. <laughs> and they have no idea the reason why. <laughs> Tom, I'm standing in South Park, Colorado, where last December, eight-year-old Kenny McCormick died of a terminal illness. Mm. But now, that little boy's three closest friends miss their friends so much that they are building a ladder to heaven in order to... A ladder to heaven in order to try to see him again. It's so sad and yet so beautiful, Tom. Well, our son just said to us that he really needed to see his little friend Kenny again, and... And that he thought it would work if he... Built a ladder to heaven. They just believe in their little hearts that it will work. We can't tell them it won't. We just can't. It shows how beautiful the innocence of a child really is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
ladder to heaven. That's fucking stupid. These bowls symbolize <laughs> how we cares. all feel about loss. Who are we to tell them it's impossible? Even country singer Alan Jackson has shown up with a song he has written about the ladder. Alan Jackson is, of course, the man who wrote the song Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning about the tragedies on September 11th. And now he's here once again to capitalize on people's emotions. Let's listen in. <laughs> oh, no. Where were you when they built the ladder to heaven? Where were you when the world stopped turning? Did it make you feel like crying? Or did you think it was kind of gay? What a beautiful song. Well, I for one believe in the ladder to heaven. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. 9 11. I said 9 11, 9 11, 9 9 11. Thank you. I have a new CD out with all my 9 11 songs for sale right here. Get in. It's messed up. Look at how high yeah. they are. Yeah. Oh, good. Carmen's back from the junkyard. I found this car seat in Mr. Garrison's car. Mr. Garrison threw away his car? No. Hey! <laughs> uh. Hurry up, Kenny. You're going to be late for school. For school. For school. For school. For school. Getty? Play Do you by chance know what happened to my Playboys? Playboys. Playboys. Getty? Answer me. Answer me. Carmen? Kenny was a perv. Carmen? <laughs> what? How do you know she has a cat? What, what, what? Dude, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. It's like my brain just keeps jacking off. Maybe you've got brain cancer. <laughs> you think? Don't get cancer on the ladder, Carmen. You're gonna fall off and break it. When I see how this ladder has brought people together, how how it has changed America, I mean, how can I not believe? Uh, do you actually believe in the ladder to heaven? If heaven is an eight-year-old boy, and the ladder is my penis, and the... And the pearly gates are the... <laughs> That's right. Get him off the screen. Uh, wait. Wait a minute. We are getting reports now that Japan is building their own ladder to heaven to compete with the USS's. Let's go live to SNN correspondent Nobu Hirasawa's Gurewa. This is what? Nobunaga Hiroichi reporting live from Tokyo, where Japan has started building its own ladder to a heaven. Already, the Japanese ladder extends far into space and is growing by 1,000 miles every day. It is becoming clear that Japan will reach a haven before the United States. Excuse me. We ran out of stuff to build a ladder with. Oh, no. We can keep going, but we need to start tearing down houses for wood. No! Uh, look, I, I think maybe this has gone far enough. Yeah. It's time we told the boys the truth. We've come to help you beat those Japs, boys. There won't be anyone stopping this great ladder from being built today. Yeah! Alpha team, get that support structure up. Surveillance team, get his photos and recon. Where were you when they saved Stop. that ladder to heaven? You see anything? So dangerous, no. though. Hello? Kenny? God? Grandma? Ah, uh, don't tell me we haven't even reached the Cloud City yet. No Cloud City, not even the giant. Heaven must still be a long way off. All right, look, I didn't want to have to say this, but I think maybe we're not seeing heaven because one of us doesn't believe in it enough. Who is he referring to? Maybe we're not seeing heaven because one of us is a J-O-O. <laughs> what does me being a Jew have to do with anything? Because Jews don't believe in heaven. Yes, we do. Just not a Christian heaven. Your idea of heaven is getting $5 off your matzo ball soup at Barney's Beanery by lying about a hair in it. Kenny. Hey, Kenny. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. He's a boy wearing orange shoes, losing his pride, cause Kenny and his whole family reside in the ghetto. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. What did you say? I said, shut up, Cartman, you blood belching vagina. <clears throat> Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. I just, I keep feeling like I'm Kenny, seeing memories through his eyes. You're too fat to be Kenny. You're a. Stupid Jew. Let's just keep building. We only have five more days <laughs> until the shopping spree. Our recon team on the ladder just found new evidence of threats from Saddam Hussein. We killed him. We secretly took him out months ago. Yes, sir. And now we believe that he's building weapons of mass destruction in heaven. 
Okay. These surveillance photos were taken atop the ladder of what appears to be heaven. Here we see what we believe to be a missile silo. And here, we see what looks like a laboratory of some sort for making chemical weapons. That no. kind of looks like a seagull. Yes, yeah. it could be a laboratory disguised as a seagull. Sir, you must understand our fears. We must take out those facilities. We must bomb heaven. The polls right now show that 51% of Americans think Saddam has to be dealt with, while 49% are wimpy, tree-hugging pussy. I, for one, believe that if Saddam Hussein were an eight-year-old boy and my penis uh, were the United States, then stop there would... Stop it. Hard nipples. God damn it. <laughs> Kenny is in here. What the? Wait a minute. This is kitty litter. All right, all right. I drank the chocolate milk mix and replaced it with kitty litter. You what? Dude, don't you know what this means? You drank kitty. Yeah. Oh my god, this is awful and disgusting. Bad, Eric, bad. That's all you gonna say to your son? Listen, lady, you gotta get this crap out of me. I don't want him in me anymore. Just suck him up and throw him out. Oh, Steven, I can't go through with this. I have to keep it. Uh... Damn it. Oh, no. Thanks a lot, kid. Hey. Kenny, Kenny. Kenny, Lolly's Candy Land is giving away a shopping spree. Shopping. We're all gonna pitch in on an entry. 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 All right, there you go. <laughs> entry, Hold entry. on to that ticket stub. Ticket stub, ticket stub. <laughs> Hold on to this partner. I might echo. lose it. Lose it. Lose it. No, I'll lose it for sure. You keep track of it, cow. Of it, cow. Of it, cow. Okay. Oh, I don't want that much responsibility, Billy. Here, you hold on to it, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, oh. Nice. He knows where it is. Ladies and gentlemen of the UN, we have evidence that Saddam Hussein is up there building weapons of mass destruction. I take the fact that he develops weapons of mass destruction very seriously. We have tried to communicate with Saddam through a psychic to ask him to let us see his warehouses in heaven, but he has not responded. Of course not. Of course he has not responded because he's dead. Right, dead <laughs> and in heaven. This is preposterous. Even if there was a heaven, what makes you think Saddam Hussein's soul would be sent there? Our intelligence exactly. tells us that when Saddam was originally killed, his soul actually went to hell. But while in hell, he began a homosexual relationship with Satan, the Prince of Darkness. Come here, guy. Who's my cream puff? I am. Satan, however, decided he didn't want to be with Hussein anymore and broke up with him around August. When Saddam became jealous and tried to kill Satan's new lover, Chris, Satan had Saddam <laughs> sent to <laughs> heaven Chris. to live with Mormons as a punishment. Wow. Are you high or just incredibly stupid? <laughs> I assure you, I am not high. Fool me once. Shame on... in the head down at the abortion clinic and I clearly saw Kenny putting the ticket in a little red box. I just have to wait for another vision to come. Did that work? You see anything? <laughs> yes, Cal. I see a dead Jew! Whoa, 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 maybe Kyle's right. We gotta spark the vision somehow. Not by giving me brain damage! Do you want a candy shopping spree or not? Alright, go ahead. Uh! No? You're not gonna get a shopping spree. You're gonna get CTE. Hey! Uh! This is a Nobunaga Hirotichi reporting live from a heaven. <laughs> the great nation of Japan is heaven today about 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> Therefore, heaven is now declared an official part of Japan because we got to here first. Let's go to Natsuko Sam. Today, weather in heaven, party crowdy. That's the news from a heaven. <laughs> I guess that's a play on the conspiracy theory of the moon landing being faked. That flag is on a frame. There is no wind to hold it uh, out like that, of course. Oh, God, and we told our boys they'd never reach heaven. As soon as the boys finish their ladder, we'll be ready to take Saddam out. Do you really think this is a good idea, Randy? If Saddam is building weapons, we have to stop him with our weapons. Uh, excuse me, everyone. Uh, we're not working on the ladder oh, anymore. Oh, they got Thank the you. candy. Kenny didn't have the ticket stub. It was in his room. So we got all our candy and you can all go home. Are you saying that you boys only wanted to build a ladder to heaven so you could get some candy? 
I've never heard the words only and candy in the same sentence before. But what about your <laughs> lost friend? What about your fragile innocence and in believing we could all get to heaven? People make us kids believe that heaven is this white place with fluffy clouds and angels. Yeah, but now we think maybe heaven isn't a place you can get to. Maybe heaven is just an idea, a frame of mind, or, or something gay like that. Maybe heaven <laughs> is this moment right now. You're saying we should bomb this moment right now. Right, Johnson, sir! No, no, no. we shouldn't bomb anybody. These boys are right. The only heaven we can hope for is one here on Earth. Now, we should stop waiting to get into heaven and start trying to create it. Oh, 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 oh that's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you when they decided heaven of was course. a more intangible idea and couldn't you couldn't really get there? <laughs> you little bastards ruined my latest song! <laughs> Let's go count our candy! Yeah, but what about Kenny? His soul is still in Cartman's body. I just drank his memories. I'm not sharing my body with that poor piece of crap. Stop calling me poor, you fat dick! Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa. He's in there. in there. Where am I, you guys? Oh, God! Dude, come back here! Stop him, Kenny! Get those nitrogen capsules over there by the warheads! Right, oh. chop chop, come on! Saddam, I've been hearing rumors that you're secretly building weapons of mass destruction up here. Weapons of mass destruction? No! This is a chocolate chip factory. See? It looks like a chemical weapons plant. If I was gonna secretly build a chemical weapons plant, I wouldn't make it look like a chemical weapons plant, would I? I'd make it look like a chocolate chip factory or something. All right, just checking. Stupid ass, huh? That was a decent South Park episode with some cool inner kitty moments and some parallels to the space race. But thank you so much for recommending it. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.